one with a new introduction. But anyway, I'll, I'll tell you why she's so important to the argument that the Iraq women are making. Molly Root, who I've already introduced you to, and Eileen Figueroa, who passed away a few years ago, also of diabetes, and who worked very closely with Kroger. Both of these women did. Actually, Molly Root, her aunt, uh, Auntie Florence Shaganasi, she was one of Kroger's main informants. So this is um, Auntie Flo's niece. So these are the main characters here. And in terms of Kroger, I know all of you know a lot about him. Let's see. Yes. Uh, we know he was a BOA student in Columbia. He was interested in literature and theory. He was the, the director of the California Academy of Sciences, which I didn't know. And then he joined UC Berkeley in 1902 until 1946, and well known uh, for his association with Ishii. Some of his publications here, and this one here, the first one, the book Anthropology, is important because in 1948, then, when he's really utterly convinced that the theory of neurocaneality is a fact, he adds a volume to a uh, chapter to the book Anthropology um, and says, you know, and talks about the theory of neurocaneality, which he hadn't done in the original version, version in 1923. And some of the other important uh, books in which Kroger talks about the, the Yurok, for example, the Handbook of the Indians of California, in which the very first page he says, in the very first page, very first paragraph, he says that uh, he's not interested in, it's not, it's not history in the pure sense of history because he's not interested in the, the pitiful events of California Indians. So for that, he's never, for that sentence, he's never been forgiven the fact that he said he wasn't interested in the pitiful history of events that California Indians were going through, being locked up in boarding schools, uh, 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 age at death went, uh, average age at death at that time was like 36 years because of all kinds of things happening, um, mostly due to alcoholism on the on and around reservations. But there are other, there are other in, uh, publications in which you know, the Yurok are portrayed in ways that the Yurok contest today. And I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, mostly he wrote in what we call the ethnographic um, present, and as I mentioned here, what the, his quote on page one, and you know, some of what was going on at the time, the Indians being rounded up and put on reservations, massacres going on, and very well documented uh, in Northern California, um, well into the, the turn of the 20th century. He was also really interested in um, material culture and in recording the culture of Native American tribes before they disappeared forever. So this is, this is problematic too, this disappearance, this fatalism and salvage anthropology too. And so the Yurok women uh, take an issue with this disappearance. So was he really uh, rallying off of for them and trying to protect them, or was he just saying, well, they're going to disappear, so I'm not, I can't do, I can't avoid it, and I'm not going to do anything about that, just document their extermination, so to speak. So, and then here in the, uh, in the 1920s at UC Berkeley, when Kroger was really, act or began his activities, you'll see that there was a growing scope and complexity of the anthropology, not only here, but worldwide, but it caught on here in the anthropology department. And in planning for the future needs of, of the department here, he envisioned anthropology and its relation to other disciplines. And there's a sketch that in one of his uh, publications in which he starts thinking of what anthropology would become here at UC Berkeley and its relationship with the other disciplines such as zoology, anatomy, history, and how you know the prehistory of anthropology and cultural anthropology and linguistic anthropology, I guess the three, four fields uh, would come together. So I think that's really interesting, mm -hmm. interesting because it really uh, informed the way in which he would practice his own, uh, uh, the anthropology that he advanced. Now, uh, a really interesting uh, twist in, in the kind of anthropology that's I guess was, but it is 
still informs anthropology today in the United States and only in the United States. Nowhere else in the world, I guess, did anthropology uh, become closely associated with psychology and psychoanalysis. Germany. Only here in the, excuse me? Germany. Germany that's too. Where, that's where it came uh, from. Oh, it, it oh, from. oh yeah, Rahe and the others. Here in, you know, the kind of folkloric tradition is what Boaz brought and mm. came here, and it also settled in South Africa oh, among see. the uh, Afrikaner anthropologists. Mm -hmm. uh, very psychologized, very spirited people, mm -hmm. which you can do good things with, or you could end up with apartheid. <laughs> <laughs> and this alliance with psychology helped define the 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 help define the way in which anthropologists here thought about culture. So culture, in the way that Franz Bolas defined it, was a set of norms and values, and later he added that determined behavior. So a focus on behavior and observable traits of what people do, as opposed to, for example, in France, and later in Brazil, and South America in general, and I guess in many other countries in the world, in which it was more of a symbolic, a mm -hmm. cognitive definition of culture as being a system of communication rather than a system of observable traits and behavior. Mm -hmm. So I think that is, that's really different. And um, so this whole focus on behavior and how individuals contribute to culture, how culture through enculturation shapes individuals too. So this, this is tied to the way in which, or this, actually informs the way in which Boas, but later Kroger, described uh, the Yurok people. Then we uh, move on to another one of our, I guess, antagonists, Eric Erickson, who was a very famous child psychologist and who uh, helped apply Freud's theory of anality and orality to determine American Indian identity. So he started working in the, on the East Coast with the Sioux uh, people whom he described of oral personality or oral temperament. Um, and then later came, invited by Kroger to California and um, came to California after a year observing the Sioux. He came to UC Berkeley and also the Institute of Child Welfare, which I'm not sure where that, that institute is. Well, that well, was in the psych department. Yeah. Oh, it's Tolman Hall. Down the hill also, yeah. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. So at here at Berkeley, he started studying then the Yurok children, the whom, whom Kroger told him that were very different from the Sioux who he had determined were of oral personality type. Mostly the, the data that uh, Erickson was working with to determine the American Indian identity according to Freudian types, personality types, were based on information gathered by this journalist and historian of California Indians and published in 1877 in Tribes of California. And in this book already, uh, Powers talks about Yurok sexuality, comparing uh, Yurok sexuality to the way in which animals, beavers, wolves, comparing their genitalia. And so th this is where I guess Erickson and then later Kroger, who became convinced, started thinking about this, one of the characteristics of the uh, anal personality type, which is its retentiveness, right, anal retentiveness. So you, a lot of the information comes from Stephen Powers' Tribes of California. So then, in, finally in 1943, Erickson advances this theory of Yurok anality in a piece that he published called Observations on the Yurok Child and World Image after visiting the Yurok for five, six days. And Kroger, on the <laughs> other hand, places emphasis, oh, and relying on, that is, Erickson relies on Grover's emphasis on the ideas of Yurok money-mindedness because of, because of the psychoanalytic habit of referring to 
the love as possession, love of possessions as anal, especially if avarice is associated with them. 